The next project, the film assignment that we're going to do, is composition. So, how do you frame all the shots in your films? Um, typically what we would do is we would get into groups, go out and recreate some of these shots after we learn them. Uh, this time, because obviously everything's a little bit different, I think the best way for us to do this quickly is to actually uh, take scenes from movies and then label them uh, for all the different types of camera shots, angles, and movements. So, for example, in these videos here, these, these demos on how to film different types of shots, I'm going to let you watch that on your own. This scene from Jaws, if we were to, basically this is an example of a scene that you would find on YouTube. You'll download this scene and then you'll figure out which of these shots are some of the ones you learned in the previous video. And then you are going to label that. So you'll cut, you'll cut it up, you'll put them all in order, you'll put in like a lower thirds title, so you'll say this one is, you know, medium close up, or this one is extreme close up, or this one is, so all you're doing is labeling what each of these are. You might have a zoom, you might have a pan, you might have a tilt, you might have uh, a variety of shots here. So for example, you're going to find those types of shots and then you're going to label it here. So right now we look at this and because we haven't learned anything about composition yet or we might, we might have been in a, in a photography course, but in composition, what type of shot is this? Okay, we're not sure. So that's why you're labeling it in your film. So it's going to be, when you're finished, it's actually going to be similar to what you see in this one. In this one, there will be a lot of different types of shots that they're explaining, why they're used in film, and then it'll have like a lower thirds, I'm pretty sure in this one, uh, it have, has a lower thirds explaining it. So that's what we're going to do. So instead of filming it ourselves, because when we film it ourselves, it's just like multiple production days, going out, capturing it with your group, and then coming back, and then figuring out what each one is. Just the recreating it is going to take uh, more time than we really have, because I'd like to move on to some other types of film assignments. Um, so instead, we're going to tweak this, we're going to change this a little bit. So uh, we know how to use clip grab. Today, you're going to watch the two videos below. 10 shots every filmmaker should know. 15 essential uh, camera shots, angles, movements. Make sure you follow this steps. In the next class is dedicated, in the next class it'll be dedicated to post-production. I'll put up a video how to add a lower thirds title and then you'll start slicing some of the scenes that you have. Because again, I don't want to watch like a three minute scene if you're only showing me one or two types of camera angles. I don't want to be watching and you know your, each film that gets handed in is like 15 minutes long. It should be concise, which means that it is showing me the 13 different shots and then that's it. Okay, so it could be from one film if you want. It could be from multiple films. It might be easier if you pick from multiple films, but it could definitely be done with just one film. So, um, if I was going to do it, I'd probably use Jaws myself. I just find that Steven Spielberg has a lot of just easy, especially in his, in his earlier films, it's like textbook composition that he goes through. So, for this project, we have to learn about all the different camera angles, shots, and movements before we start making our own films. The next one, we're going to be looking at lighting, and then we're going to be looking at sound then we're going to be creating some of our own films. So, uh, this week, this week is the last week where you will be working in group one, two, and three, and then next week it is odd and even groups. I think we start with even on Tuesday. So on those days, the classes are gonna be larger. Uh, there are students that are sitting in your seats at this time. So I'll just leave it as first come, first serve. So 
when you get here and you sit in that spot that you're in right now, typically there's other students in those seats on uh, groups, uh, the other group days. So we are going to have to walk around the room, Darren and I, and, and use uh, some external hard drives and plug them in and take some folders off some computers and move them around. So uh, we'll figure it out. We've tried to get everybody spaced as much as possible, but you are going to have to wear your masks in the room at all times. If you, want, if you get tired of your mask and you're just like, I need a break, let me know. You can go for a walk and go find a place where you can take off your mask for a few minutes and come back. Okay? Because we just, we measured everything out and we just can't uh, physically get far enough away to keep our masks off starting on Tuesday. Okay? If you have any questions on this, ask. Uh, that's it.